Hello, Facebook. Hello, Instagram. Instagram is live. I'm not certain about Facebook. I am glad to be back. I am glad to be back. It is 2024, and we are going to start on a very big note this year. So if you're just seeing me this year or you're just hearing from me, I was live shortly on Facebook yesterday, and I said I hope it wasn't too late to say Happy New Year. So for the Instagram family, I want to say Happy New Year. I hope it's not too late to say that. The year is still new. I don't know what the devil is already telling you. It's still new. It's still new. It doesn't matter how many days gone, but it's going to be a wonderful year. And everything that we desire is going to come to manifestation. All right, I want to welcome you to the first parenting essential in 2024. I want to welcome you to the first parenting essential in 2024. If you are there, let me know you are there. Just say hello, and I will know that you are there. Today, we are talking about something very important. The important one of the major thing that we need in fact if not the important thing that we need to thrive as parent in 2024 so let me know you're there and call somebody to call somebody just tell somebody that you love that is a parent even if the person is not a parent but even if a single lady a single guy it doesn't matter as long as you know that one day i am going to be a parent it is high time you just give them a call just call them and then we can do this together. It promises to be an amazing time. Okay, today I am talking about essential parenting skills for successful journey in 2024. That is what we are talking about today. So I wouldn't mind you getting your pen and uh, journals this year. This year we can't just roll through like as usual. It's okay. We are just going to talk and we're going to listen. No. You're not doing that this year. We want to be more intentional. If you think you have been intentional before, this is the year that you have to be more intentionally intentional. That is everything you want to do must be journaled. You have to pen it down so that you can take note of the ones you have done and the ones you have not done. It is very important. So also for parenting essentials, I will advise you just get a note, get a pen, because we are going to be learning great things this year. And it's going to help us journey through this phase called parenting all right we are going to start on a note of essential parenting skills for a successful journey in 2024 i hope you're calling somebody to come join us as we roll this moment essential parenting skills for a successful 2024 already i've said it many times and you heard that from me several times before the end of 2023 and i'm going to say that boldly confidently and very loud for free i'm telling you this that parenting is a call parenting is an higher calling i'm not going to say more than that but just watch out for that particular word parenting is an higher calling why is it an higher calling why is oye saying this you will find out not today but very soon but just keep it to yourself and know that parenting is an higher calling. And what are those essential skills that you need to have for a successful journey? We said it many times that parenting is a journey. We move, we are moving, we are learning, we are moving. So what are the skills that you need for a successful journey, most especially in 2024? All right, you need to thrive. Every intentional parent needs to thrive. And for you to thrive in this year, you need those skills. You need to thrive. What are the best skills that you need? In your parenting journey, you deserve to be purposeful in developing the skills necessary for your, for your effective parenting. So what are the skills? If you know any, just drop it for me. What are the skills? What are the things you think you should do? What are the... Oh, do I know this? I'm going to be give, asking us some genuine questions today. And I want you to be sincere to yourself. And that is why I said we need a note, we need a pen. We are not just going to roll as usual. Get a journal, get a note. When you pen these things down, you'll be able to get back to it. As, oh, this is what I said at the beginning of this year. This is what I said I was going to work on. These are the things I was able to achieve. So that is why we have to go on those notes. You might often heard 
that parenting does not have manual uh there is no pattern in parenting maybe you have also heard from me before i said uh parenting does not have manual but there are principles and structures to follow so i've seen parent and i've heard parents asking questions when we say parenting does not have manual they get it out of context asking questions that seems that parenting does not have principles to follow or structure when we say parenting does not have a manual it we are talking about there is no tailored approach to parenting that brings us back to the understanding the unique child there are no tailored approach to parenting this is how i par uh, parented my first child and the second one is going to be like that because this one is like this that one is to be like that that is when you can say parenting does not have manual there are manuals anyways there are structures and principles to follow and if we don't follow the principles that have been tested and trusted we might not succeed in this journey if you're not following the principles the structures that have been tested and trusted it's going to be a very difficult journey and for us to have a very successful journey in in 2024 we have to be skilled ah you need to be skilled we can't continue to do a roller coaster thing. Que sera, sera. I get pregnant. I have baby. It's okay. We has come again. She's ranting. No, -uh. this is not about ranting. This is about telling you the truth. And these are just truths for free. They are too expensive truths that they're supposed to be packaged that I don't even know how much you want to pay to tell you this truth. So when we talk about these things, it's just about the tailored approach. No tailored approach. I said that before. Understanding the unique child. There are principles and techniques to follow if you want to thrive in your parenting journey in 2024. You need to fully understand your roles as a parent. What are my roles? Oh, hey, I'm a parent. I'm a mother. What are your roles as parent? What do you need to do if you are on a journey, you are, a, you are driving, and you don't know what, how to drive? What is going to happen? You are on a journey. You know how to drive, but you don't know where you are going. Isn't that a disaster? It's going to be a waste of time because you keep driving and you're just going on a roller coaster. You make U-turn, you go back to that place. Waste of time. But even if you know how to drive, but you don't know where you're going to destruction. If you know where you're going to and you are in the car, but you don't know how to drive, you're just doing trial by error. Accident is going to happen on the way. So that's what we are talking about in parenting. So you have to know what are the principles to follow if you want to thrive full understanding of your role is very important you have to understand your role so you have to be intentional you have to be very intentional this year that you have to understand that parenting is more than a duty it is a continuous com commitment it's a full-time job see you have, you might have been parenting for 20 years you might have been parenting for 10 years you might have been parenting for 30 years. I don't want to know how many years. I care less about these years. But you have to have this understanding that is a full-time job. It's a continuous commitment. Uh, when I have time, I'll do it. Uh, when I do, I'll do it. When it comes to parenting, it's not about when you have time. We create the time. After prioritizing the things we need to do, we create the time. If you don't have time, you will lose something in parenting. You create the time now good for you or you lose something. Anyways, either way, there is always something to sacrifice. So you have to understand that it's, it's, it's more than a duty. It is a com continuous commitment. And it's also a privilege. This is one of the reasons why I said at the beginning today that the parenting is an higher calling. It's a privilege that you're called a parent. Who called you? Who, who was called? I'll be talking about those things later, not today. So the fact that you are a parent, it's a privilege that you are a parent. And you cannot afford to fail on your parenting journey. Instagram, are we together? Facebook, are we together? You cannot afford to fail. So that is why you have to continually commit yourself to this journey, to this thing called parenting. So your commit or continuous commitment, it is when we say you are intentional. So I've been talking about the roles and the skills we need. And that is what I'll be dabbling into shortly. So you have to know that it's a privilege, it's a continuous journey. And uh, it's a, 
you have to be give it a thoughtful approach to building your relationship you have to it's an intentional relationship parenting is an intentional relationship with your child you have to give it a thoughtful relationship you don't just relate with your child anyhow i'm the parent i'm sure you have heard that from me many times so this year we are bringing back we want to give ourselves reset this 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 evening we are resetting our brain <laughs> We want to, we want to rebuild, to rebuild. We want to relearn. We want to unlearn the things that you know all those made believe over the time. I know it all. What are they saying? It's a journey. That is why you can know it all. Because when your child grows from a stage to another stage, from a, an, a particular age to another one, you need another skill that is required at that time. So there is no, I know it all. You can't say that. So you have to build that relationship with your child. Be intentional. You have to be intentional. So it's crucial for you to have a comprehensive understanding of your role as a parent. Full understanding. You understand the inside, outside. This is to do. This is not to do. A comprehensive understanding of your role as a parent is a must. It's not negotiable. So we cannot uh, move on a blind, blind route this year. I will just do it. I'll try this. We cannot do trial and error on our children. No, not this year. No trials and error this year. We can't do that. So you have to have the, uh, the full understanding of your role, a comprehensive understanding of your role as a parent. Your role is to lead. Now I'm telling you the roles. What am I supposed to do? What are my roles? Oh, yeah. I know this. It's not to pay their school fees, give them food. Uh, I said we should play. I understand you're going to say play with your children. Is that not? What else? Your role is to lead. Your role is to guide. Your role is to teach your children. Trust me, you need your pen. Your role, I say that again, you have to lead your children. That means you have to be a leader, a guidance. You have to guide your children. You have to teach your children. Uh, oh yeah, you're not just telling us how do I teach them? How do I guide them? How do I uh, lead them? These are the reason why Parenting Essential is different this year. There are many things, many programs that are going to be exclusive that is coming on this year. Because we can't teach all in 50, 20 minutes, we can't teach a lot of things in 40 minutes. And some of these things, when you get them for free, it's like, oh, it's okay. Do this, you think, you know, I don't have time. And part of being intentional this year is to you to, de to determine that, no, I'm going to invest on my parenting this year. I am going to be intentional to have a budget on my parenting this year. I want to know better. I want to be the, the adult my children deserve. I want to be the adult my, my children need, the parent they need. So all these things take intentionality. It's just not by saying it. So I take that again, you lead, you guide, you teach your children. Your duty is not about instilling fear in your children through punishment. You do this, I, I slap you, I eat you. We're talking, we're not talking about, we left that, we left that part a long time ago. No. My parent did it for me, and uh, this is where we are today. We are standing. You are not standing, you didn't check well. You are going about with trauma. This year we are going to be dealing with a lot of trauma that you are packaged that you think is made believe. A lot of adults, parents, they are packaging trauma. <laughs> so this year you're going to hear the truth, nothing but the truth. Instead of you to heal and to learn, unlearn. Oh, we survived, we are standing. No, congratulations, you did not. You're not standing. So we cannot afford to treat this next generation like that. We can't. So don't instill fear in them through punishment in the name of street parents. Maybe you are the type that call I'm a street mom. I'm a street dad. I don't take nonsense. Many of you that say these things, I don't take nonsense. I'm sure you have heard this from me before. You are not street. You are just unskilled. Because you... <laughs> I don't want to go in there today. If you say, I'm a street parent. My mom was so street. We say, many of us, we say that now, right? My parents were so street. They won't let me go out. They, will, they didn't let you... You were not privileged to learn the skills you are supposed to... To, to learn as a child so you target skilled no they were in skilled they were unskilled parents we cannot go that route the worst strict parent you have to understand what exactly are you strict about 
Do you lack some skills? Are you not doing what you need to do? Are you... I'll, I'll leave it because we don't have time. We don't have time. We have other things that will be coming up that will give you full understanding of those things. So, get that. Don't just be a, a, a punishing your child in the name of your street. So, you need to know and understand... Excuse me. So you need to know and understand what is okay and what not is okay. What is this okay? Is this not okay? So if you as a parent are not aware, you don't know what is okay, you don't know what is not okay, how do you manage your child? You don't know how far is too far, how close is too close. You don't even understand the principles. You don't understand how to put structures. How do you manage, how do you parent your child? That is exactly what we are saying today. So part of your role is to understand these things. Is this okay? You talk about it by yourself. You think about it, not just pushing what you are not sure to your child. So understand what is okay. Understand what is not okay. And one of the things that is okay is for you to be able to know that it is okay for you to apologize to your children. <laughs> oh yeah, what is this? You want them to despite? I will not say, uh, sorry, my daughter. Hey, hello? If you are wrong, one of the things, I will tell you that again, that is okay, is for you to know that it's okay for you to say sorry to your child. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, now I know. What else is okay? I will give you one more thing that is okay. One more thing that, one, one other thing that is okay, it's okay for your child to say, mommy, that was not good enough, but it's, I, I, uh, I take apology accepted. After, see, not many times, a lot of people will say, oh yeah, you know, I do these things, I say okay when I, I when I do something wrong, so it's not a new thing. Listen, many of you that you say this and that I say okay, you always expect the children to tell you that no worries, mommy, it's okay. After you apologizing, I hope after you apologizing for your children, Instagram is off. After you okay, Facebook are we together? After you apologizing for your children, you still feel they should tell you, mommy, it's okay, daddy, it's okay, no worries, no, there is worries. <laughs> we are going to be giving ourselves a lot of bus goes this year you are apologizing from the depth of your heart to your child not as an uh, because I'm an authority when I say that she should not just allow me to finish the apologies just tell me mommy no 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 don't say that it's okay daddy I mean, I'm the father when I want to say oh, because I'm, a, I'm an intentional parent I want to say oh sorry my son my son should not just allow me to say sorry. I should just say, oh, you know, it's okay, it's okay. It's, no, it is okay for your child to say that it wasn't okay. It wasn't okay, daddy, but apologies accepted. So are we twisting, are, are, we, are we giving ourselves the right mindset that we need this year? Oh, this, oh yeah, this, is, this is too tough. My child cannot tell me that uh, it is not okay, but apologies accepted. You know why? You lack some skills. And you are not emotionally intelligent. If you are vibrating when your child is saying these things to you and you find it rude, you need that skill. And the skill you lack. Are we together? Okay, Instagram is there. Okay. Hello. <laughs> All right. The skill you lack is an emo emotional intelligence, is not what we can teach on parenting essential, but there is a well packaged training that is coming up soon so you can always join a lot we are going to have a lot of short short courses that are exclusive this year you're boiling you are traumatized you are carrying trauma around mm. check back how, how did you grow up your daddy is parking or coming back from where everybody's on ah, elder skater principality and power is coming on that is why you cannot even suck in your child telling you that wasn't okay, but apologies accepted. You're boiling. <laughs> I'm not going for you today. Calm down. For now, go and drink cold water. And let's talk about emotional intelligence later. And I'll be giving more information on that. So, those are the things that are okay. Because of time, let me ask you some few genuine questions. Genuine questions that you sincerely need to ask yourself. If you want to journey through 2024 as a skilled parent, uh, get your pen. Get your pen. Get your notebook. There are no time to waste. Times are very expensive. <laughs> and I want you to be sincere to yourself as you as you answer these questions. This is a be sincere to yourself. I mean, I'm not nesting you in your house. So if you lie to yourself, what's my game? 
what you're doing. All right, Jenny questions you should ask yourself as you journey through 2024. Number one, do I genuinely understand the requirement for guiding my children to evolve into a remarkable individual that they are destined to become? Ask yourself, Daddy, I'm talking, yeah, you, I'm talking to you. Ask yourself, Mommy, you, you uh, maybe you don't have kids. You are still waiting, but you are married. Ask yourself, am I really ready for these children I'm waiting for? A single lady, okay, okay, wait, I'm coming for you. Single brother, ask yourself, am I getting equipped? It's a right, see, if you're single or you don't, you're still waiting for your children, I would say congratulations. Congratulations. Because you don't have anything that should bother you because you are starting on a good note. But if you have a child of already teenager, uh, preteen and everything, and you, are not, you cannot answer this question, you better be on the run. Do I genuinely understand the requirements for guiding my children to evolve into a remarkable individual they are destined to be? I'm sure you have heard this before. Your destiny is in your hand. It's God that is making destiny. Uh, we are not the maker of destiny. Hello? When we say your destiny is in your hand, it's what you make. It's what you build. That is why I said my first statement today. <laughs> Parenting is an higher calling. You're still thinking you want to have more babies. I'm not saying it's you, don't, you should not have. But the ones you have, are you skilled to raise them? The ones we're about to have, do you have enough skill to raise them? Because the world is evolving, it's going. That's why it's a journey. You have a child of 15 years and you're pregnant or you're, you're planning to have another baby next year. The skill you used 15 years ago is not going to work this year. Uh -huh. It's not going to work. So you have to be on the journey. You have to be on the move. There is no sitting. There, they are no waiting. Did you answer yourself? Did, were you genuine to yourself? Were you sincere? I'm going to ask another question. Uh, am I a skillful parent? Hmm. Hello? Am I a skillful parent? Are you a skillful parent? If you don't even know what are skills required in parenting, how can you be a skillful parent? How many books have you read on parenting? How many? How many, how many webinars have you been to? How many seminars have you been to? How many workshops? You are just shouting on that child. That child is just rude. Uh -uh. That child is not rude. You lack skill. You lack skill. And I'm not apologetic about it. Do you have the skill that is required as a parent? Or parenting to you is just pregnancy, nine months later, baby, I buy the biscuit, I buy the clothes. Hey, I don't want to go in that. Are you a skillful parent? Are you skillful? Do you have the skill you need? Yes or no? I'm talking about essential parenting skills. Essential parent parenting skills that I'm talking about, they are progressive. That is why it's a journey. You keep moving. They were toddlers, right? Now pre uh, school, uh, uh, preschoolers, they are in the school, middle schoolers. They, they, uh, you keep moving. They are progressive. Another question. Am I prepared to invest the effort needed to witness the tangible results. Huh. You see somebody's daughter. They are, they are, they are nice. They, 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 are, they, are produce, they are productive. When we talk about raising amazing children, come. It's not about getting A's in class. A's are good. I'm not coming for you today. But we are going to talk about a lot of things this year. <laughs> we are talking about wise, intelligent children. Intelligence is not only limited to academics. <laughs> Independent thinking child. So tell me, it is not going to be an easy route. It is not an easy race. Are you sincerely prepared to face it? Are you prepared to face this journey? Are you ready to take whatever it takes? I am taking over this calling. I am facing my calling because this is an higher calling. <laughs> Are you prepared to invest? Investment can be your time. It can be your money. And some people, they just think when we talk about investment, when I, when I talk to parents and I counsel them, uh, but I'm spending a lot, I take my child to best school. Who is talking about best school? Best school is good. Give your children best education. When we talk about investment, it's not about the money only. It might be your time. It, might be, it can be anything. But be ready to invest. 
put effort that is needed to witness the tangible result. And that is why we said this year we can't go without a journal. If you have five children, you have to have different journal for those children and write the goals. What am I going to work on this one particularly part time? Don't put too much. See, I'm giving you all this information for free. Don't put too much. These are the delayed. These are the things you want to work on. Maybe it's, it's a communication. Maybe it's social skill. Have one per time and write how you want to go about achieving these results. See, what many do is they just write, I want my child to do this. I want my child to be able to communicate like this. But how do you want to achieve that? So when you write what you want to see, you have to also be able to write how you want to achieve it. Time is gone. I'm not even halfway. Anyways, the year is just, I'm not halfway yet, but the year is just starting. I don't want to give us too much of odd seats, but this year we are not joking. I just want you to know that it's, there are no jokes, no jokes. If you want to be intentional, be intentional. If you want to be not, if you are not ready to be intentional, please walk away. Ah, let's know how many we have. Uh -huh. So, be prepared to invest. Investment can be anything. Am I offering praise for the right aspects? Ah, but I tell my ch my children, good job, fantastic. Uh, uh -uh. That's not what I'm saying. Wait, hold on. Am I offering praise, praises for the right aspect, for the right thing? The only praise I've seen parents praising their toddlers after dressing up on on skippy schedule, you are sexy, you are this and hello. Who are you? Where are you coming from? I'm not joking this year. You can see I'm not smiling. If you want to hear this year, if you don't want to, let's know how many of us are remaining in this intention. That, in general. But I beg you, if you are a parent, don't take the decision of not being intentional because I love you too much. It's not because of you. I love the next generation, your children. I am after, I'm concerned about your children. Please don't play with the destiny of your children. Say, oh yeah, come on, Kalas. Go away. If I don't have time, what is this? Sorry. I am begging you because of your children. You have chosen to be a parent. And you don't have choice than to parent a right. So, you offer compliments to your children based on their actions rather than gener uh, uh, general traits. When you want to give praise to your child, make sure you say that specifically. You are thank, uh, well done for the job well done in your mathematics because you scored 9 over 10 and that is better than the last time don't just say good looking nice job let it communicate let it make let it be a, a very clear and uh, elaborated communication so make sure you are offering your praises in the right aspects not just you're cute you am, am i saying you should not compliment your children no that's not what i'm saying no it is good for us as parents to compliment our children. You're beautiful, it is good. But beyond that this year, we cannot go on the route of, oh, see my cutie, see my dad. Your cutie that you're not putting anything in their head. Ah, oh yeah. Hey, hey. Who are you? You're smart. Where? These things are good. But beyond that, let's move this year. Let's move. So you have to consider highlighting the specific behavior consider highlighting the specific behavior this year don't just because when they are used to you are beautiful you are good it's not bad that is, at the time you're not there to tell them because you, it's not specific they don't actually know what exactly they are doing great on they're looking they'll be looking outside for who to validate their their dressing i've said this years back in my videos your daughter you have raised your daughter that if there's nobody to tell your daughter that you look good she's not comfortable who are you? What are you raising? What sort of child are you raising? Tell the child, train your children to look at the mirror and say they should believe. I am beautiful. Of course, I know mommy said that, but I can see the mirror. So they will not be looking for one silly guy, one silly bro. I don't understand. To be saying, you're, you're looking, somebody will tell them you're looking beautiful. They're already shaking on their leg. Hello. You can't raise our children like that. So be, 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 be sure. That you are highlighting the specific behavior you run fast in the at what in the game you did today than the last time that was great let's be specific all right you took the initiative to say hello maybe it's a child that you are working on the social skill 
ah, talk about and this is one of the skills that we are working we've been working on, on our, in our own family in the last few weeks and every week we have this focus you can adopt it if you want i'm giving you that information for free when you notice something in the life of your child talk about it in your openness meeting if you have been following parenting essentials this meet this statement should not be a problem to you so in your openness meeting talk about it next week we are focusing on this so we focused two weeks ago i think we focused on our social skills the last week thereabouts and we talked about it and i saw my daughter did something you know that was great and i let her know what she did how amazing she did oh good job what good job what is good job what is good about the job hello what job oh i saw you communicating with your friend and this is how you did that was good but yeah keep at it and this explain effective communication comes along and it helps in accelerating the skill you want to achieve this is the only way forward this year so you have to be specific yeah you took the initiative of saying hello to your friends in the classroom that is a class you said hi is did you say hi i said we should say hi i said we should say hi oh your time is gone <laughs> i'm not going to ask for questions today because this is just the foundation of this series that we want to equip ourselves as parents we're talking about the essential parenting skills for successful 2024 if you want to be a peaceful parent you want to go on a peaceful parenting and intentional a purposeful parent above all a vision carrier parent in this 2024 i'm giving us the nugget on the skills that are required that are required so you maybe you are teaching a child to wash hands so you watch and you watch your hands before dinner without anyone reminding you before you know every time i say have you washed your hands did you go wash your hands did you wash your hands so at this time the child has gone to wash hands before without being told ah then they say you wash your hands you have said right but that will not help the ch uh, child to connect and see the growth you wash your hands during dinner or before dinner without being told well done this is the only way this year. Are we together? How many of us are together? <laughs> you solve the puzzles correctly, successfully, without help. Well done. You have been you give your child, you give maybe you're giving this particular puzzle to the child, and the child has been struggling. But this time around, the child was able to succeed in fixing the puzzle. Don't just say well done. Let the child know what is the job that is well done. You solve the puzzle successfully without help so we have to be intentional on these things so this i, I said before this does thing, this, this does not imply that you should not compliment your child no on their appearance you can but we have to be mindful uh on the nature of our compliments i think that's the whole summary with everything i've been telling you is for you to be mindful of the nature of your compliment on your child this year something just dropped in my mind now you know, sometimes this not so good compliment are not actually coming from us. Might be from your parent, might be from your friends and family. And because you don't want to offend them, you are letting them go away with this. With this, your friend comes to your house and telling your little girl because of the nice cat or nice crop top, then you look sexy. Hello. If you don't correct the wrong by telling your friend that is not part of our values. We appreciate i appreciate you but please don't say that to my daughter again because of your friendship huh? you know how i feel i feel like coming to you and giving you both because i call you selfish parents so please look into these things critically this year and just say i'm not the one that actually saying it though it's just my brother and you don't want to offend your brother and you're sacrificing your, your children you need to wake up wake up and rebuild to reset your brain I said it. I remember I made, I made a video about four or five years ago and I said something. Friends can walk away. They, uh, it might be bitter. Your parent can walk away. But your future, your own job is to raise your children. If your mother is the one that is hindering your values in your house, say it with respect. I said it before. You need to learn how to disagree appropriately. No, no offense. Mama, mommy please don't do that and if she continues you put her in her place but maybe she will not be privileged to come in until she gets it it is not being rude that does not stop you from taking care of your mom see some people will listen to their they have come 
Now they are teaching us not to look at our This is, you know, sometimes if you don't get this thing as parent, how do you want to parent right? Who is telling you not to take care of your mother? We're talking about your own job. She has done a job. And that is why you are like that. <laughs> I, I, I'm okay. They dress me well. Okay, I'm not coming for you today. All right. I think I will just say maybe I'll ask two or three more questions and we call it a day. Then we roll it next week. Because I, don't, I want us to really be mindful of time this year. Okay. You already answered that question. So you have to know what compliment and what is allowed. That is going to be in line with your values and everything. That is if you even have value. What values? I'm not coming there today. That's not where I'm going to. If you don't know that, we can talk about that later. So I'm not attributing my feelings to my child. I'm placing blame on them. Do you know what that means? What many parents do is to attribute their own feeling to their child and you blame them. I said that in, in my video. Tell you, you make me upset. How can you tell a child that your child makes you upset? No, tell a child, I lack skill to be your parent. If the child can make you hungry, can make you upset, uh, you know, I'm sorry, but you make me shout at you because you didn't listen. You are telling the child, I am not worthy to be your parent. I am not skilled. I lack skill. <laughs> so you should stop attributing your own feeling to your child. No, don't blame a child for how you feel. You lack emotional intelligence. Get it. So stop saying, uh, I really do not want to shout at you, but what you did was make, you know I love you, but you made me shout at you. You are not still making sense. Your child make you shout. So you give so much power, authority to that child. That's what you're telling me. You're telling the child. You're telling the child, maybe you come be the mom, I'll be the child. Or come be the father, I'll be the child. So we have to know where we are weak. Understand the skills you lack and get it. So stop placing this blame on these children indirectly, unknowingly. You know, you might not even be aware. That's why I'm not upset with you. I love you so much. I love you. I'm not coming for you. I love you. And that is why I have to tell you the truth. So you are responsible for your own feeling, not the child. You shouted because you don't know how to control. You're, of course, the child can be annoying. I'm not saying that. Uh, oh, yeah, you don't understand. My children are annoying. Children are the same. Their job is to press the button. Oh yeah, maybe maybe your own children are very quiet. That's why. Children, they will be children. Don't forget that you are the adult. You always tell yourself, I'm the adult. That's a child. The child will behave like a child. As an adult, I will do my role as an adult to behave like an adult and act as an intentional parent. That is when you're not going to tell each other uh, you actually caused it. Because of time, so just just be responsible for your feeling and hold yourself responsible for your actions. Oh, I shouted at you. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. There is no need because you caused it. If you have shouted and you want to apologize, I shouted at you. That was not acceptable. That was wrong. I didn't control my emotion. I I, I was out of line. I'm sorry. I'll work on myself. Never tell a child like that. That is going to that is the beginning of your healing, of your learning. So. So you have to hold yourself responsible for your action, for your reaction, for your feeling. You have to express uh, statements as, uh, like, mommy can make mistakes also. That was not the right thing. I know that was not the right thing to do, but I work on myself. That is going to even melt your brain because you don't want to keep saying these things to your child. Because if you say that today to the mother, this one is a joker. What sort of mother is this? All right, so let's continue next week. So I see a few more questions to ask you. So let me ask the final question. Do you have the realistic expectation? Do you have are your expectation on your children this year? Are they realistic? You already put down. <laughs> my, my children must graduate primary school at nine years. I always ask people in Nigeria, what where, where, excuse me, where are you running to? <laughs> that is how everybody's doing it. So by nine years, they are already in the secondary school. You are pushing all your trauma to your children. So where? Education is one thing. Emotional and social intelligence and growth is another thing. Ah, my child is very brilliant. It's not about education. It's not about academics, book, that a child should go to another class. This is not why I'm here. I am just gave you that point for free. Hey. 
So because your friend's son is in, uh, I don't know, maybe they're still using GSS 1 or 2, maybe a grade 7 and 8, you already said, no, I have to show them in my club. My daughter, 8 years, must graduate, and I have to call them to come and buy clothes so that they can see. Is that, we are not talking about expectations like that. It's not even reasonable expectation. So your expectations on your children this year must be reasonable and must be realistic. Don't do... Uh, <laughs> I think I come for you too, too much today. So we're going to call it a day. I've given six questions. And I want you to go home and digest it. We're going to continue on the note of questions next week. And I believe it's worth your time. I believe you have your notes. See, don't miss presenting essential for this year. Trust me, it's, it's loaded. It's not going to be a waste of time for you. You cannot journey. You cannot move. You cannot be in, call yourself an intentional parent, a vision carrier parent this year without a, without a journal. You have to write. You have to read. So those six questions, if you have them, answer them genuinely. And next week I'm going to give you maybe another six questions then we go properly to the skills that you actually need to succeed we are just building up i've not even started telling you the skills but these are the things that will make you understand if i just give you this is the skill you need that you will not understand because if you lack all these things the skills that you're not going to understand them or it's not going to work for you all right i want to say thank you everybody for joining me today if you're seeing my face this face this little girl here that has been that did i come for you okay maybe i apologize but just know it's out of love it's out of love because i love our children they i call them growing glory for a reason ah if god should open your inner mind you will understand that these children are glory and we cannot afford to mess this glory and that is why i said parenting is an higher calling uh higher uh, are you telling me it's better than Bishop? I'm, I don't want to come there. I apologize to the ministers, the leaders. But it's an higher, higher calling. All right. Okay, this is Parenting Essential. I came in case you just maybe somebody sent this link to you or you're just seeing this video by chance. But I want to let you know that it is never an accident that you are watching me. So this is called the Parenting Essential. This comes every Saturday evening at this time. And uh, it's coming from the vision guide. Do well to follow us. It doesn't cost you anything. Follow us on every of our social media handle. Follow us on Instagram, the Facebook, my personal account, our vision guide page. Please follow us and please go to our uh, YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So there are so many things, goodies are coming this year. And I trust, trust me, you don't want to miss any of this. I'll be sharing a link by tomorrow. If you have teenager children, and you would like your children to be part of our teenagers club this club is for free <laughs> we want to raise these children intentionally and is it what part of the things we're going to be doing in this club is to meet once in a month it's not going to be about academics the spiritual life everything if you want your child it's open from 12 years if you want your child 12 to 18 years, if you want your children to be part of this, just all you need to do is when you see the link, just feel it. They, they don't have to have, a, they don't need to have a phone. I don't even believe that your child should have a phone. But what? They're going to use their system to do this monthly meeting. And if we add, we can add, okay, I'll just let that be. You're going to see the link. And if you are interested, please do it and join we have so many other programs that are coming this year our insta program the, the the planning is ongoing it's going to be massive if you have been coming to our insta weekend this year you don't want to miss it this year Insta program you don't want to miss it so please and we have classes for the teenagers also in this uh in this year Insta program so don't miss it plan to be in this part of all these programs everything i've said this ones are totally free they are totally free please be prepared and be intentional. All right, I'll see you next week. I'll give you other information on other exclusive parental courses that are going to be happening from next month. It's already well packaged and it's going to worth your time. It's going to worth your time. Well, I want to say thank you again for having me. Thank you for seeing me. Thank you for staying tuned and thank you for learning. And don't forget, we are holding hands 
together to walk on this journey. My name is, do you know, I'm Oye Layo, but you can call me Oye for short. And this is again called the Parenting Essential from the Vision Guide. Before I go, be reminded that parenting must be intentional. Parenting must be purposeful. Parenting must be full of vision. And this vision is what is going to guide you jealously all through this journey called parenting. Thank you for joining me and bye for now. I'll see you again in another amazing episode next week. God bless you. God bless you. I love you. I love you with the love of God. Stay blessed. Bye for now.